Hello and welcome to Learn English with Monica and with Lucky. Come and say hello. Hello, Lucky. Lucky, my special assistant. Hi, why are you biting me? <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking at idioms to do with food. I think food is something that pretty much most people love. I certainly love food. So let's look at some common food idioms. Number one, a piece of cake. This idiom simply means that something is very easy. For example, Marco thought that the English test was a piece of cake. I love cake. Two, to have your cake and eat it too. This idiom means to get the benefits of two different situations or things when you should only get the benefits of one of them. For example, Ben wants his cake and eat it too by wanting to have a relationship, but also wanting to date other people. Not cool. Three, to have a sweet tooth. This idiom means to love sweet tasting foods. This definitely applies to me. I have a huge sweet tooth. I love chocolate, cakes and cookies. I should probably eat less of them though. Four, like taking candy from a baby. Now, luckily, this idiom doesn't actually mean stealing sweets from a baby. That would be really mean. This idiom, like a piece of cake, means that something is easy. For example, the thief thought that stealing the money would be like taking candy from a baby. Five, to take something with a pinch of salt. This idiom means not to completely believe something that you are told because it is probably exaggerated or untrue. For example, I would take the teacher's comments with a pinch of salt. He was having a bad day and he was rude to everyone. Six, as cool as a cucumber. We're on to veg now. This is a very funny idiom that means to remain cool, calm and collected. For example, Tom is always as cool as a cucumber. He's so relaxed about everything. Seven, to go bananas. Now, this idiom is pretty much the opposite to as cool as a cucumber. To go bananas means to become extremely excited or angry. For example, the dog went bananas when he saw the cat. Eight, like two peas in a pot. This idiom means to be very similar and to have a very close relationship. For example, the cat and the dog are like two peas in a pot. They love to do everything together. Aww. Nine, for peanuts. This idiom means a very small amount of money. For example, it's ridiculous how many companies pay people peanuts, especially for the long hours and hard work that they put in. Unfortunately, this is very true in the world that we live in. <clears throat> Ten, to eat like a horse. This idiom means that somebody eats a very large amount of food. For example, Pete eats like a horse, but he's so thin. How? I'm very jealous of people who can eat like a horse and stay thin. 11. To eat like a bird. This idiom is the opposite to eat like a horse and means that somebody eats a very small amount of food. For example, Jane eats like a bird. Her food portions are like that of a child. 12. To walk on eggshells. This idiom means that you have to be careful about what you say and do around somebody as it can easily offend them. For example, the littlest things make my boss angry. I feel like I have to walk on eggshells around him. 13, couch potato. This idiom means that somebody is very lazy, eats a lot, watches a lot of TV and doesn't exercise a lot. Guilty as charged. I really need to stop being such a couch potato and go to the gym more. 14, greatest thing since sliced bread. This idiom means that something is excellent and the best thing ever. For example, I think that my cats, Simba and Lucky, are the best things since sliced bread. 15. Spill the beans. This idiom means to reveal a secret. For example, the journalist spilled the beans about the actress's pregnancy. 
16. Full of beans. We have another idiom to do with beans. Full of beans means to have a lot of energy. For example, my cat Lucky is always full of beans. He always wants to play. 17. To put all of your eggs in one basket. This idiom means to rely on one thing and depend on that thing for success. For example, you can do better than your loser ex-boyfriend. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket, hoping that he'll come back to you. Go out there and meet other guys. That's it for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Which food idioms did you like best? Do you know any others? Write it in the comments below. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time.